My true Yarns, I stand before you armed with truth. For too long, our country was stolen by politicians. But you elected a vision, a cure, a road to paradise. Viviro, created by our own brilliant scientists, the most effective treatment for cancer the world has ever seen, grown within our precious tobacco, modified with the purest fertilizer, Viviro, is the key to rebuild paradise. But our paradise comes at a cost. This our enemies will never understand. Yara did not elect me to do what's easy, but to do what's right. And so, with renewed focus, I must extend the draft to paradise. True Yarans from across our island chosen to produce enough Viviro to heal the world and save our country. These lucky Yarans will be chosen by random lottery. Even my own son Diego could be drafted tomorrow. They done it. And like a true Yaran, he Turn that shit off. with a smile on his face. Precisamente. Exactly what Castillo wants. Enough politics, Lita. You think the draft is only taking true Yarans? It's the outcasts, the poor, orphans like us. He's bringing slavery back from the dead. In Yara, you can't run from this. Hang on, you ditched us. Ran out to the jungle with a bunch of guerrillas. Libertad. Hmm? Now you're back here to recruit for Clara Garcia's local crusade? Come on, this is our big goodbye. Danny, fucking say something. They got my name wrong. Danny, you could help Libertad. You're trained. Would have been career military if you weren't such a fuck off. <laughs> Just come with us, Lita. Aye. You never fucking listen, Danny. Hey, time to go. Boss waiting. Drinks in Mexico. Dinner in Miami. <laughs> Fucking blackouts. Too big for a blackout. You fucking pack it? Oh yeah, do you know what's going on? Raptis must report for duty. You will join us to rebuild paradise. Holy shit. What the fuck? Raptis must report for duty. You will join us to rebuild paradise. No! Alejo, get down! You will join Fuck us Castillo! Alejo! Raftis must report for duty. You will join Danny, us to reveal Paradise. We have to go. Now! Get the rooftop Raftis now! The boat. You're coming. You will join promise me, Lita. Paradise. See. Come on, Danny.
next asshole who opens the door is Danny Rojas. Come on. Soldiers need that, so he takes us to Letting the military kill us? No, no, 
noche de la muerte. The boat over there. with baseball cards. Do you have any idea what these are worth? Let us through. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Marco, always making new friends. Danny, you're late. Where's Alejo? He gave up his ticket for his family. Bullshit. Alejo is an orphan. Alejo's not going anywhere anymore. Come on, Marco. Let them on. Vamos. Good man. Get on the boxing gal. Let us on. Chamaco. Here. That's all I've got. This isn't right, Danny. We should be fighting, not running to the young keys. Aleo gave you a fucking gift, Lira. We survive. Same as the orphanage, same as the academy. What's that? Please, no, no, this is a pity, Lord. You're real, no, no! <laughs> was El Presidente. Mi papa loved to fish. We would go out on a boat, just like this, and we would catch the fish and then release them. He would say, it's not always about your stomach, mijo. It's about the challenge. Except when he caught a big, fat, juicy marlin. <laughs> he was too proud to let that fish go. You have voice and yada, you have voice on your sword! I have caught a very big fish today. Haven't I, Diego? Diego! No way. I have caught you, mijo. Now it's time to bring you home. I don't want this anymore, Papa. We have no choice. Let them go. They can work. Make vivido. Truth or lies? Truth. They could be good workers. They could help rebuild paradise. But if you wanted them to live, you would have never set foot on this fucking boat. 13 years old. And Diego has such compassion for his people. These fish, we will catch and release. What the hell just happened? You fucked.
<laughs> I can't feel my legs. Fuck, Lita, this is all my fault. My phone. Forget it, Lita. My phone. This is the beach, Tani. It's fucking fate. What? She's hiding here. Clara. Libertad. Julio. Fuck. Julio. It's all here. Take my phone. Follow the code like when we were kids. Stop it. Lita. Just wait. I'll find help. No. You give her this. Clara will help you. Don't you get it? You're the lucky one, Danny. You're the lucky one. Lo siento, Rita. I should look for supplies and get the fuck out of here. Shit, pistol's empty. Need to find that camp. How the fuck is this still working? The markings must be the code Lita was talking about. Band. Must be Libertad. Shit, who's shooting? Better stay quiet. This has to be the way. That is small. Like animals. I can smell it on your clothes. Your sweat. It's the stink of a great all rotten on the inside. Coño, a patrol. How did I know you were scavenging for Libertad? I smelled it on you. That's why you died. Now, I'm going to call this thing. You? You are going to be slowly eaten. I'm not the only one looking for Clara. What's this? Would be useful. To Liberta, steal a boat, sail the fuck out of Yara. Easy. Oh fuck, put a watch out. Ah. 
bad time to be a guerrilla. Been a while since I used one of these. Gonna show your face before you shoot me? I'm Danny, a friend of Lita. Silencio. You are the only survivor? Answer me. I said, are you the only survivor? Si. Lucky. Need to know the risks. That's all you have to say? You're here. That's what matters. Just a second, hermana. I'm getting the hell out of Yara. <laughs> but you're in my camp. I need a place to stay. A few days. Libertas no charity, hermana. Lita said you'd help. Lita also said you weren't a pussy. Come mierda. You're an orphan, see? Funny how friends can be closer than family. Remember, Danny, Castillo has kept you an orphan. Why do you want to run? I watched Castillo order a whole boat of our people shot to death. Get as far away as you can from that psychopath. All of you. <laughs> when tyranny is law, revolution is order. Quoting Bolivar won't save you. It's Pedro Albizu. Gonna save Yara with library cards. I have a list. Free elections, free expression, free the outcasts. A Yara free of Castillos. Simple. Simple. Castillo's got, what, 300,000 troops? I count six burnt-out guerrillas, and you, with a bullet to the leg. You don't believe me? I'll show you. We launched an attack from our base to this island. It was a basic operation. Hit a Viviro tobacco plantation, snatch some fuel, and go home. But Castillo's forces were waiting. Got us down from 60 to 6. You need to get back to your base. Yes, but this island is surrounded by a blockade. We don't have boats, we don't have much gear. And we are not leaving until that Viviro plantation goes up in smoke. But we are guerrillas. We know this land inside out. You're already familiar with our guerrilla paths. They were built by the legends in 67. They're spread like a web across all of Yara. Now, they're ours. Guerrilla paths are good to ambush soldados or to hide if the army is on your back. They have caches that will help you survive. And all of this is legit? This map is old as hell. Made for turistas, yeah, it's out of date, but you got the regions, municipalities, and landmarks of Yara. You'll get used to it. Now I need to call in some favors with the locals to get us a boat, and you need to go find me Juan Cortez. Who? Someone who can make one guerrilla fight like a thousand. You know I'm not a guerrilla, right? You tell Lita that? I'll give you food, a bed, even a goddamn boat to sail to the Yankees. But it's gonna cost you bullets and blood. You can shoot, so shoot. Settle in, and let me know when you want to pay your rent. We need to talk.
You ready? I attack this archipel. Get down to that village and bring me Cortez. I hope for your sake he's sober. Stay strong out there. Trust your instincts. You're not one of us. Can you hear me okay? Loud and clear. The spy... This shit works, Clara. I'll give you that. Bien. Keep your gun holstered if you want to stay out of trouble. Especially in areas with a lot of soldados. Si. Sí, I got it. A smart guerrilla picks their battles. Suerte. in the worst fucking cantina in Yara, or is it Colombia, Kirat, Chechnya. Leave the bottle. Let's work for you. 
de nada. Guapo, you listen. Rule 16. A guerrero's revolution never ends. Always another war, another cantina, another ugly bartender. Juan Cortez? What do you think gave it away, guapo? This isn't a fucking zoo, abuelo. Clara sent me to find you. See, si. I learned long ago never to doubt her. You will too. Hey, I know you. Don't think so. Yeah, I know you. It's like I'm looking at a mirror, guapo. What are you talking about? Those eyes, guerrilla. You got a taste. You convince yourself you're a hero, but you wake up a junkie, just like Juan Cortez. This is a fucking waste of time. Can you whistle? What? Nah, you can whistle. Coño! Fala, finga! You fucking rat. You were more dead anyway. See, Guapo is in love with you. And I ruined the only copy of my book. Bueno, mis socios, vámonos. Once again, we have outstayed our welcome. fucking army shows up. I'm drunk, but I'm not that drunk. Right behind you, old man. Get your out of your ass and let's go. Oh, never Wapo wants to be your friend. Or maybe he just needs to take a dump. Only one way to find out. Come on, let's get the fuck out of here. I can tell you handled a gun before. What's your name? Danny. So Clara says you're a legend. XKGB, XCIA. <laughs> I got more fucking exes than your porn search history. Some men, Dios mío. They break I think they you. broke my ribs. What the fuck are you doing? Let's go! Fucking soldados. Juan is talking. Some men, they break eggs for breakfast. But Juan Cortez, hold up. New plan, Danny. Vamos. The plan is to go back to Clara's camp. Where the hell are we going now? See that smoke? That means the watchtower just got a supply drop with some of the rarest materials you'll find in Yara. And you are going to go get it. Now you want me to steal shit for you? Gunpowder and Supremo Bond. The Cerveza and Chaser of Resolver. I'm gonna teach you to make shit for weapons. Because making shit for weapons is cool. 
And this rule number nine, always use the right tool for the right job. You coming with me? Fuck no. You got guapo. You can tear shit up with him. But if you want to be sneaky, leave him behind. That cutie loves to make a mess. At least you're here to help, Wapo. Weapon or not, military will shoot me on sight here. This could be useful. What the hell are you going to do with this one? More shit for one. This is more like it. Found all your shit, Juan. Good work, Danny. Now hurry up already. We need to get back to Clara's camp. That's what I've been saying. <laughs> okay, we got more than enough. Let's get the fuck out of here. So what's with all this junk? You building something? Patience, Danny. Rule number eight. A guerrilla knows how to wait. Like a spider or a serial killer. So, how did you get to this godforsaken hellhole? I was on a refugee ship. We didn't get far. Yeah, yeah. And I came here on a chopper in our baby invasion of Santuario. Shot straight out of the goddamn sky. No, I mean, what's your story? Orphanage in Esperanza. And the military. I'm no guerrilla. Just helping Clara out until she gets me off this island. Rule 20. Once a guerrilla, always a guerrilla. Enough with that shit. Too late. The horse is out of the barn and now the fucking cocaine is all over the kids, Danny. There is no other option. America is my option. <laughs> of course. And you think Americans want your yarn blood? The American dream is for Americans, Danny. You don't quit, do you? Nope. Wapo hates quitters. Coño. If you two are so close, why is he following me? Wapo goes with those who need him most. Like those therapy dogs in your precious America. You can trust Wapo with your life. Yeah. Not sure I'm there yet. You got time. You said your chopper was shot down in the invasion. Can you fix it? So I can fly you to the Yankees? No, I... It's grounded. But I'm working on it. Patience, Danny. Now it's time for Juan Cortez to show you how to make something out of nothing. Did I ever tell you rule number nine? You just did. Always use the right tool for the right job. Words to live by. Okay. The legend returns. The legend needs to piss, Hefa. Who's she? She was a journalist who dared call Anton Fascista. Now she's an outcast, a slave for his paradise. And she's not the only one, Danny.
time you learn about resolver, Danny. I was six when I rigged my first bike with a chainsaw motor. The blockade means I have to resolve it every day, Juan. Nah, that's survival. For a guerrilla, resolve it isn't just making do with what you have. It's inflicting chaos with everything you've got. Keep talking. A guerrilla's best weapon is the workbench. Go ahead, Danny. Get cozy with it. Let's take a crack at those weapons. No offense, but your battle rifle is a little Rule number nine. Always use the right tool for the right job. In this case, it's gunpowder and scraps. Sometimes I lie awake at night asking myself, Juan, excellent Danny. Now you can pop enemy flesh like a ripe watermelon. Okay, let's look at your other rifle. Let's say your target remembered to wear their helmet and vest today. You're gonna these rounds, fly straight and ice. Now you got your own supply of high velocity war crimes. Let's look at your attachments. Time to make your very first suppressor. This will turn a bang into a bang at the cost of some range. See how easy that was? Now you can silently headshot your enemies like a real asshole. The workbench is your friend, Danny. A friend with benefits. Better than Ralph, I guess. Damn, making shit is addictive. With that workbench, you can build a new Yara. 